It's a really cold day and I want to light my stove with my Ricoh heat on. And um, the way you want to do that is definitely with an upside down fire. What's an upside down fire? An upside down fire is when you put your logs on the bottom of the stove first and then put your fire lighter in there and you build your little grid on top. Like that. So the reason you do that is because when it's cold you have a cold flue. There's cold air in the flue and by lighting the fire from the top the heat penetrates straight up the top of the flue. It doesn't, if you light it the other way around you create, a, you create a pocket of warm air here which blocks the cold air in the flue and probably with the Rico heat that will be slightly exacerbated because you've got the coil there so until there's flow and until the, the coil creates the foiling action around the coil that will mean that the air moves more slowly in that part of the flue. So it's really important that you light it like this with the upside down fire and as Tom in Southampton said when it's like this light your fire warm up the coil so that the air the flue gases are moving past it and it's also pre-warmed and then switch the reco heat on switch the pump on so that the cold air going through that is actually um, moving through hot metal and the effect on the flue is going to be minimized and almost taken away. Um, so when you're lighting a stove always do an upside down fire because it always pre-warms the chimney and is better but if it's particularly if it's cold make sure that you do that and you warm the coil up before you then switch the Ricoh heat on.